see that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. <laughs> Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. Why is she talking like that? I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. And the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. And it's coming closer. Ugh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. Max said the lighthouse would be safe? Really? The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Max. Oh no. Whoa. Oh, no! Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm but back in class. As he what the hell? Times. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Some kind of purgatory, maybe? Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Yeah, I'd say so. Bueller. Diane Arbus. Be calm and don't freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw oh! Richard, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. Oh my God, the birds! In a dark oh my God, what is going on? This is literally hell. Everybody's gone now. What? Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. <laughs> the animation is still the same. What the fuck? Oh, that's too creepy. Okay, this is this is a fucked up dream. Like seriously, I, oh, I want to die. I want to die. I want. These are Kate's thoughts, but aren't they? I want to die. I want to die. You didn't die, Kate. You, holy shit! Look at all these dead birds. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Yeah. I I don't think this is anything like sci-fi. I think or I guess it is sci-fi. What I'm what I'm trying to say is like I don't think Max has actual powers. I think it just might all be in her head. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. I haven't seen anything that I see you, Max Caulfield. What the don't fuck? Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Alright, let's have a heart to heart, mister. I just wanted to know if 
You'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. Thanks for our dark room. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> I've been dreaming of the day when you would finally tell me. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Call me Mark. We need to play catch up on all the time we've wasted, especially since there's nobody left in your life. I love you too, Max. This is all the. F this is all. It can't be real. I don't believe it. <laughs> this has got to be Max confronting herself. This is her looking in the face of all her mistakes, all her sins, everything. I see you, Max Caulfield. Wanted to know. I cannot say this. Our dark room. I like to think of it as our dark room. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm. Of course, Max. I can capture you over and over. You can be my model for life. And death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. Oh my god. I can't tell what is happening from this one exchange, but I'm scared of sticking with any of the choices and walking out that door. Because after him, I'm sure we'll face other people like Kate. Could this be the start of multiple endings? Right here, right now. Could it be? I see you, Max. Wanted to know. I don't know if I should play them. Oh, please. I, I do not want to say that. I don't know whether I should play them. Because they're probably not real. This is probably all just... If I go with, like, I love you, Mr. Jefferson, that's some, like... That's, like, what? Max's inner feelings or something? My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. Okay, that's it. I'm not going with any of those creepy responses. Ah. Alright, Max. I think it might just, I see you, Max. I think it might be Max's demons. Like all Why is this happening? All of these responses seem like they'd be Max's demons. It's about time somebody finally killed Chloe. Oh no! Think of how often that bitch almost got me killed. It's like you're doing both of us an awesome favor. Chloe can never appreciate you the way I will. Maxine. And yes. I insist on calling you Maxine. Forever. Oh my god. I oh so I read that sarcastically. I thought she would be like, thanks for killing Chloe, you fucking asshole, but that was a genuine So okay. These are all of Max's inner monologues, her inner feelings. So how do we really feel? How do we really fucking feel? I know for sure that I'm not gonna go with I the see you. Thanks for killing Chloe mm -hmm. thing. Because I understand how, how There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I know how close they are. I know how close they are. There's no way I can go with thanks for killing Chloe. It's just the harshest one. Can't love him either. <laughs> Fuck, look at that face. How, how can anybody love that face? Our dark room? My selfies are shit. I think that my selfies are shit are like the truest. The truest answer you can get from Max. She does have very low self-confidence about her her talent. Let's go with this. My selfies. Yes. I hope you don't. And uh, those are just kind of veiled threats. As long as we can just leave. Oh no. Oh, this is some fucked up shit. There's Kate. Oh, this is gonna be hard to swallow. Oh, this is gonna be hard. And there's a fucking candlelight vigil. Oh god. 
What is going on? Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. That's not true. Oh! Oh, fuck. Stella Hill. Oh, Stella. Dana Ward, Julia Watson, Taylor Christensen, Kate Marsh, Max Caulfield, Victoria Chase, Brooke Scott. Uh, they're all gonna lead back. Yeah. Until we find the right one. Let's just go through them all, just in case. I don't want to miss anything. This is too fucking good. Oh, that hit hard. You know, something I never really understood was how adamant Max was about being, um, Kate's friend. There's really no evidence of Kate and her being close friends at all, except for Max herself letting the player know that they're friends, right? And Kate was in such a vulnerable like, she was so vulnerable, like, I'm pretty sure she would... In a situation like that, I can only speak for myself really, but if I were Kate, I would just take anybody. I would let anybody call me their friend, if it meant they were actually nice. I, I better find something. This one leads back. Yeah. We have to go into either our room or Victoria's room. I think it might be Victoria's room. Fuck. Her family is so important to her. Now they'll never leave her alone about the, um. About what happened. There's no solace from the hell. <laughs> Oh god, it's like we're going through... It's like we're going through hell right now, fuck. It's probably not Brooke. Oh, it's not my door either. I don't think it's a bathroom. Oh! 218? Hello? Not even the bathroom. 218. Whose door is that? Dana Ward's. Oh, Dana! I am the key master. Wow! Alright. Dana's name is off. I guess we're gonna go through every single character. What? The, what? 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 Brooke Scott. Tara Garcia? Lila Lee. <gasps> Rachel Amber, Kelly Davis, Dana Ward. Oh, these are all the. Oh my god. She was my angel. After my dad died, I knew I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago. She just left Arcadia without a word, without me. How do you know she just disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. <sighs> I, I know it's going to be That's Rachel's door. Why the fuck are you wearing my bracelet? But let's check out Tara Garcia. Who was in Max's room before Max got there? Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that big. She had, has a great eye for images. Oh, okay. Plus, she was smart enough like you. We would all be in hell of that forever. Whoa! What? What? Whoa. Water on my cash. You know how much 
Did not see this coming, Taylor? You might as well choose your name. Otherwise, I might have to tell some people offer to choose my photo for favorites. Are we going through Kate's store? Are we going through Max's store? Are we going through Victoria's now store? Totally oh my god, never expected Victoria to, or to be in Victoria's body. This is kind of weird. She's tall. She's noticeably taller. Not... Not the right door? Not Max's door either. Oh, there we go. The person Victoria wronged? Dana, Juliet, Juliet Watson. Nope. Then it's probably her door. It's probably Victoria's room. Victoria's room has to be nearby. What the fuck? That's Max's voice. Why? Alright, what now? What do you want me to do now? I can go through my own door. Oh. Look at me. I am Max Selfie. Uh, going through our own door, huh? This is some weird fucking- oh my goodness, there's- our, f our Polaroids are everywhere. Oh! What the shit?! This one is for Samuel. Oh, I haven't seen Samuel all episode. <laughs> the squirrels, man, they know. They know. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Let's see, episode f 4? Oh, I finished that one earlier. And I've missed a few. Definitely. Wow, I've missed most of them. Fantastic. Looks like we could have taken a photo of Kate. That was a silly looking caricature. Oh, everything's backwards. Everything's backwards. This is a fucking trip, dude. There's a little bit of an ordinary skin in the sea of nowhere else. I'm here to have an IMAX series. Hello, I'm here to have an IMAX series. Max is going forward, but everybody else is going back. Is that Sid Matters song gonna be backwards too? Oh my goodness! Yeah, everything's going backwards. Even the song, even the music. I understand what's happening. Everything. Oh my god. We're taking everything back. We're taking everything back, aren't we? Rachel? Come back! Oh god. Okay. She's leading me to where I'm should. Oh, what the fuck? Try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me capture you. Gotta get to the lighthouse. So Jefferson is coming after Max, me again. You used no. to be so pure, so innocent. Now you have to die. Huh. Sucker. I'm pretty okay at stealth games. As long as the uh Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. As long as the lighthouse light doesn't... After everything I did for you, and you accused me... Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. 
Not Maybe I'll wake up. Marsh cry. Art is supposed to make you cry. Yeah, as long as the lighthouse doesn't rat me out, I'll be good. Whoa, Max. Fuck. <laughs> there goes all my all my talk. Max, you used to be so pure, so innocent. Now you have to die. So in the diner. I didn't look at the diner during my playthrough. This was during a moment that I was like trying to gather some uh, footage for a theory Max. that never the that I never made. The place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Is he there? Yeah, he is. Hey, Max. Oh, what the fuck? There are multiples. Right. Max. Oh, Max. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now you have to die. In the diner, if you looked at the if you go and look at the lighthouse from the diner while she, while Max is sitting in the booth, she mentions about how she's just mysteriously drawn to it. Like she, it makes her feel something. Like throughout this entire game, it's it's always constant talk about that diner. I mean that that lighthouse. Yet yeah, the lighthouse, the top of the lighthouse is what kills us in the beginning. You know? Don't know what we'll find there, but I feel like it can't be anything good. Like it'll be death. Um, he comes from that direction. Just gotta wait until he turns around. Like. Oh! But he didn't notice! move behind him. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. Okay. Well, we're stuck in this corner now. Oh, fuck, Kate. <laughs> Alright. There's multiple versions of him. Gotta leave now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta hurry. There's more Kate. Okay. There's another one over there. What's his path look like? Is that Rachel? Is that me? That's me. Oh, man. So many... There's a photo of Max coming up. Okay, Jefferson. Stay over there. Oh, well, hello. Look at that. Blackwell, this is Principal Wells. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Oh, shit. See, this is the Attention. photo. That one of your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield, has died under tragic circumstances that I promise to investigate after I get my drink on. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Max. Damn it, Principal Wells. God damn it. I think I could have had an easier time if I just, instead of pressing like Will Max, Max. the right shoulder button or the left shoulder button, just press the Will Max call the left trigger button. Come to the dark room immediately. Every, Max all of them lead to the dark room. Jeez, so Max, that- Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Is that Warren? Yeah, come go ape. to play. You're, oh God, he's being creepy. Hey, babe, babe, who wants to go ape? <laughs> go ape, go ape, babe, babe. <laughs> I regret kissing this kid. Okay, all right. You dig my wheels, Max? Get in the car. I'll take you for a ride. Get in the car. Whoa. This is all her subconscious worries. Aren't they? I wish I could press a button and blow this Do whole you fucking scar? school up. Max, I know you're in here. Max. Ah, uh, whoops. No, too far. Cool. We get to stay Money in the same the spot, handicap. though. Nobody will miss Max or her friend Chloe after this comes out. This seems safe. What about this side? That seems safe, too. Let's go over this side. Okay. Too bad, Max. Oh. Oh no, not Samuel too. Oh man, god damn it, Sam. Sammy. Max. Why you gotta be weird, Sammy? 
Everybody's weird here. Okay. It's not just like a metaphor for if they're good or bad. Snake, come over here, you That's snakes. There's snake and there's Sam. Okay. Let's stay away from that side. Just go on this side. Oh, even David. Wow. This is actually kind of tougher than I expected it to be. Which is kind of good. can't just show up at Blackwell in a wheelchair and think we're going to accommodate her every whip. Oh, Sam. Okay, he looks up there. Nathan comes right behind him. Hey, Max. Blow this whole Please, come here. Up. So I can beat you up! Okay, we're good. Come on, Max. Just admit that you're jealous of my service record. Admit it! Huh. Interesting. It's like they're... It's not their deep inner thoughts. You it's, can't escape my surveillance, Missy. It's like what she thinks their inner thoughts are. There's Jefferson again. Bony ass and over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. You won't be distracted in class anymore. Those were my beans, Max. Those were my fucking beans. <laughs> He's got a point, Max. Those were you don't fuck with a man's beans. Trust me, I know. You don't fuck with the man's beans. I sure hope you don't think we're buddies now. Bottle chair. What is going on, Maxine? Max, sit down. You're taking a time out no matter what. This is my nightmare. Let me have one sanctuary. Of course, this is where Chloe... And Rachel used to hide from the world. But I can't hide for long. Whatever reality I'm in feels like a bad dream. Am I just not learning my lesson? Exactly. Maybe your real lesson is to get out of this place. Just don't be afraid, Max. Let them be afraid of you. That a girl. I like that. I like that attitude. Welcome to hell. Alright, the wall that said Max was here is now gone. There's no evidence that she was or was Nobody not here. Ever help me, Max. Especially here in sewer. Uh oh. Come on down. I'm gonna have to wait until Frank passes and then I creep up behind him. Can't take the outer edge. Oh man! You should have heard Chloe smack talk you. It was brutal. But of course, I see what she's talking about now. Okay, made it finally. That took a while. I'm sorry. Let's get some more thinking time, though. There's the snow. It's like an inner monologue about all the... I don't know. Made in Taiwan? Oregon Snow Globe. Oh! Whoa, what a trip. Don't you dare question the chef. Oh, okay. no. Like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom's away. I'll let her know that. Oh, now we have to watch the entire thing happen right in front of our eyes. And we can't do anything about it because we're in a snow globe. God. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Oh, William. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast upon. You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. <sighs> Little Shit, Max. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Oh, little uh -huh. Max. You can't hide from me forever. 
Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tastings. Hey Max, would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, what the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna say this right now. When I die, I hope I get a sick fucking dream like this. This is kind of art. This is kind of beautiful and in a very messed up way. Fuck, it's almost kind of, almost enlightening. Oh, oh, and um, since what the shit? Oh wow, Maxine, you keep fucking up. How many times does Chloe have to die in front of you? Maybe it would be better to actually, you know, have a life. Take a selfie, ho. Yes, you're running out of choices. Let's all go to the lighthouse. Max, why do you want to kill everybody? What did everybody ever do to you, bully? Okay, I was gonna say let's read the journals, but... Oh! I should have been checking my phone this entire time. Good evening, young Max. Sorry. Good evening, young Max. The squirrels talk to me, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. <laughs> Hi Max, Rachel Amber here. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon. Real soon. Oh. Bitch, do not mess with Frank or me. You got a snack? <laughs> what the shit? Max, I loved your photo shoot with Jefferson. He absolutely captured you. If you want, we can hang out and get high. <laughs> Max, this is your old pal Chloe. You left in a wheelchair in another reality. Did I thank you before you bailed to a new life? Not only did you blow off my request, you already jumped into another photo. How many fucking times can you abandon me, hippie? Dad! What? A trip. How long will this nightmare go on? Until re you realize all your sins, maybe. Whoa. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? Damn it, Chloe, stop looking this way like that. <laughs> I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Holy shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. <laughs> Guess she's not as innocent as she acts. Nope. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. Come here. Oh, yeah, do it. It's so wrong. <laughs> Holy shit, it's just so weird. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you... Want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. What? They're just going through everything. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. They're sailing all the I ships. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Every ship is getting sailed. Holy shit! Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is Damn. so not fair. Damn it. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Oh, are we, are we good? Man, that was a lot of self-hatred in such a short time, young Max. You know, learn how to love yourself for a little bit more. What the hell? I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Hmm, every, all the walls are blank. Let's check out my journal. Oh, it's the same thing. Hmm. Okay, well, it's. I see the numbers 1, 3, 6, 7 are the most used.
Oh, never mind. It's on the wall. Great. Numbers are all over the place. Oh, whoa. Never mind. How will I find the right code? This wasn't here before. Uh, let's find a code that looks kind of obvious. With the numbers 1, 3, 6, and 7. Shit. It's literal hell. Why not? Let's try 8391. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. So it definitely looks like 136 and 7 are the most worn out, but I feel like it's something maybe not so obvious. It says she, she, we have to find a number somewhere. Somewhere. Right in front of us. Oh, there it is. One one or zero three one one. Right there in the mirror where it shouldn't be. Zero three one one. Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. What the fuck? Oh, it's the entire fucking town. Shit, Max. I thought we were on the same team. Now I'll die alone. Max, I hope you do the right thing. I can't I hope. believe you kissed me. Now you're going to kill me? Max, please save us. Save the Bigfoots, Max. Please. Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're gonna take me away from my family. Why would you do that? Max, you're exactly the kind of soldier I'd want by my side in a war. Son of a bitch, this is gonna hurt. Max? So this is how Max gets her revenge on. Max, you saved my life. Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. Thanks for that warning, Max. You treated me like a human, not like trash. I sure hope you do that for everybody in town. Oh my god. She feels like she's the... So I this is how Max gets me. her revenge on. Now you're going to kill me? thought of you like a daughter. So, so, and now you're gonna take so Max feels like she's at fault, huh? So this is how is Max so gets her revenge on. Cool. Wow, Max. Right when I finally find a cool chick to date, you have to kill us off. This sucks. I know I haven't been the best principal to you, but you've been a great everyday hero for us. Please save us. Miss Grant, no words. I guess my husband and I new baby had been friends, Max. will have to go without me. But please, don't let me die like this. Like my husband and new baby. I'm still a teenager. We'll have to go without me. Max, I'm truly, I truly am sorry for being such a bastard. You would have been cool to hang out with. I just don't want everybody else to suffer like me. Please, Max, don't kill me so we can finally have our tea session. Max, I want you to know how much confidence you gave me. Nobody ever did that for me. I survived poverty and an abusive family just so I can end up here to die. Even if I'm dead, how can you let all these other people get wiped out? They don't deserve that. Oh, Max, what exactly was the point of saving me if you're going to let me die? Max, I hope you can live with yourself after this. Hayden? Oh, was that- what? Don't let the squirrels die. Was that a drugged up Hayden? 
even if I'm oh, dead. Oh, Max. Don't the squirrels die. I guess my husband I wish we had baby. been friends, Max. We'll so have that. to go without me. But please, don't let me die like this. No. I'm still a teenager. That's Max, I'm truly... Don't let the squirrels okay. die. Truly, I'm sorry for... We'll have to go without you. Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. <laughs> or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? It was our choice. That's just pure denial. We totally chose to... Well, I had no choice. I'm playing a game, but... Max had a choice. But she was just trying to help. I always wondered what happened to the Max's she, the body she leaves behind into and like in the timelines she, in the timelines she jumps back and forth from very thankful we're having this conversation I tried to help I only wanted to do the right thing no you only wanted to be popular oh and once you got these amazing powers your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. That's just got a point. Um, it kind of, I really do care about the characters though. Even the minor ones, like Dana and Trevor. While that's true, that is true. It's only true because she's got somebody external in her brain now. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? Oh, that hurts. She's... You were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on oh, your own. Oh, that cuts deep. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> What about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk, Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? Uh, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm a good person and say we all are worth that because we're not all worth that because that's such a general thing. I can only care about so many people in my life, you know? If you just pull me aside and say, like, you think that average Joe is worth ripping apart time and space, I'll likely say no. But this is Max's power, and Chloe is Max's best friend. Of course. She's my best friend. Oh yeah, you ignored your best friend for five years while she went through hell. Oh. Some friends. Yeah. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework. So you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. So true. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy. Oh my god, that alternate. Oh hell, speak of the devil. That alternate, this alternate Max is a fuck, it's amazing. She's amazing, I love her. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> 